Yo, what's up guys? It's been a while. So today in this video, basically, I'm going to talk about three things. Firstly, we have string, secondly, we have string conversion, and thirdly, we have input. Three, two, one, check, play. Yeah. Hey. Okay. So basically, in my last video, I talked about a couple of things on string. And here, I'm going to talk about the addition of strings. String. What's a string? A string is a character which is enclosed in inverted commas and which can be stored into a variable. So in order to add a string, we need to use the addition sign to add them together. This process is called concatenation. So let's go ahead and try adding some strings. So here, we're going to create two variables, then we'll add them. And in that variable, we have two strings, which will concatenate them. So here, let's create a variable which we name x and store hello into x. So let's go ahead and type x is equal to inverted commas, then hello. So we'll go to the next line. We'll name another variable y. Then we'll say y is equal to inverted commas. Then we'll say we'll create another string which we call hi. So we have x to the hello and y to the hi. In order to concatenate them, we need to use the addition sign. And basically, we will just say x plus y. So we are going to print the result out to see what it gives us. So we will say print x plus y. That's the meaning of concatenation. So as you can see here, we have concatenated the two strings. Thus, we have added the two strings, y and x together. So let's go to the next agenda see what's up so next here we have string conversion string conversion is nothing but the conversion of number into a string so to add a character to a number we can add an integer to a character but firstly we must convert the number into a string then we can add it to the character that's the string conversion let's go and try some things on string conversion so on this section let's try printing jake is 18 so let's go ahead and try print Jake is 18. Let's run the program. So it doesn't work. The reason why it doesn't work is because, as I told you earlier, we can't add an integer to a list of characters. Let's say Jake is, is the character and 18 is an integer. We can't add them together. But first, we need to convert that integer into a string. Then we can add them together so we have many ways to convert an integer into a string but for a well-known one we have str which is used to convert an integer to a string so in order to do so we just need to write the abbreviation str then we open bracket we write the integer we want to convert into a string so we can print it out so let's try it so let's go ahead and try printing the same word we used last time we are going to convert the integer into a string first. Let's say print Jake is then str open bracket then 8. So it works. So this is the well known way to convert an integer into a string. But we have two more ways. So for the second way, we need to use backticks, which is present on your keyboard. You can press it. So in order to convert an integer into a string, you just insert the integer into two backticks. Thus, the integer should be in the middle of the two backticks. So and the third way to convert an integer into a string is that we need to use the abbreviation REPR. Then we open bracket, we write the integer we want to convert, and that's it. So that's it for string conversion. So the third agenda on our list here, we have input. So basically, I'm going to explain what's input. The input keyword is used to get uh, an input from the user. So it allows you to type something so that you can use it in your code. So basically, we have two types of input. We have the raw input, we have the normal input. The difference between the raw input and the normal input is that the normal input doesn't convert the imputed value into a string. But the raw input converts it into a string. That's the only difference between the two. So let's head back to our code and see how they actually work. So for the input, let's name a variable x and store 
an imputed value into it. Let's say x is equal to impute what is your name. So here we are going to try for the input and next we are going to try for the raw input. Let's try for the input. Let's type it. Let's run the program. So as you can see it displays nothing. It displays an error. So let's try it for the raw input. Let's say x is equals to raw input of what is your name. If I put something. Let's run the program. So now it works. That's the only difference between the input and raw input. But they also do the same function. The only difference is that one converts the value into a string and the other doesn't convert. So that's it for input. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something. So make sure to subscribe, like, share, and click on the bell to get notified if I release a new video. So I guess goodbye.